Michael Braskowski here with Inside the Foul Lines. The Rochester Honkers hosted the Waterloo Bucks in a finale of a three-game series Sunday afternoon at Mayo Field. The Honkers, for a second straight night, scored first as Caleb Dugas would single in a pair to give the Honkers a 2-0 lead in the third inning. Runners go on the payoff pitch. Served out to shallow left. This might be trouble. That ball is down. A base hit. Two runs will score. Baker will hold up at third. That's a bloop two-run single. Waterloo, however, would answer again, scoring three runs in the fourth off Honkers starting pitcher Logan Spitzak. The Honkers would retake the lead quickly thanks to a two-run homer from Kevin Barker to put the Honkers back on top four to three in the fourth. Out to Barker. Small lead this time for Friel at first. Barker drives it deep out towards left center. Going back is McLean at the warning track at the wall. It's gone. A two-run blast for Kevin Barker. And just like that, the Honkers are back on top on Kevin Barker's second home run of the year, his second against Waterloo. Waterloo would answer again as the game went back and forth as two runs would score on singles from John Sisniewski and Marcos Calderon in the fifth. For the third time in the ball game, the Honkers would come back and grab the lead, this time thanks to an RBI ground out from Jeff Campbell and then an RBI single from Matt Halloran to give the Honkers a 6-5 lead in the fifth. And now Matt Halloran. It's a hit with a runner at third and two outs. First offering, soft fly ball out to left center. That's going to get down a base hit. Scoring from third is Dugas, and the Honkers back on top 6-5. That was all the offense the Honkers could find, though, as Wanderloo would take the lead in the sixth inning on a two-run infield single off the bat of David Kirian, and the Honkers could not recover as Wanderloo added an insurance run in the seventh, and the Honkers lose the finale of a three-game series to Wanderloo, 8-6. to six. Honkers outfielder Kalei Hanawahine went 3-5 for five in a loss. After the All-Star break, the Honkers will head to Wilmer to start a two-game series at the Wilmer Stingers on Thursday night at 7.05. For Inside the Foul Lines, I'm Michael Ruskowski.